I know Windows 10 updates can be a royal pain in the ass sometimes, and really it's just they cause more problems than they solve. So although I don't recommend disabling the updates because they do benefit you more than they cause problems, I'm going to show you in this video how to permanently disable Windows updates. Coming up. The first thing you want to do is try pausing the Windows updates. So you can go in through the start menu in the settings under update and security. You'll see there's an option down at the bottom here for pause updates for seven days. If you want, you can go as it says to the advanced options. And at the bottom here, you'll see pause updates and you can choose a date, which still only goes up to a maximum of seven days. And then it will pause those updates for that time. When you're at the main update screen, you'll see that it is paused and you can click resume updates to resume it at any time. So if you didn't want to just pause the updates temporarily, but you want to disable them permanently, I'm going to show you three methods here right now. The first one is disabling a service. So if you click on the start button and go to services, open the service app. You can click anywhere and hit W for Windows and scroll down until you find the Windows Update Service. Here it may say it's running and set to manual or automatic. So you would right click on that and go to Properties. And here you can change it from Manual to Disabled and hit Apply and stop it from running currently. And that will stop it from running and trying to turn itself back on. The second place is in the Group Policy Editor. So through the start button you can type in GP edit and you should see a group policy editor. In here you'll see computer configuration and administrative templates. We want to drill down expanding that. We'll go to Windows components and expand that and then scroll down to Windows update. In the Windows update looking over to the right side of the screen you'll see an option for configure automatic updates. And you can double click to open that and you'll see that it's not configured by default. You can just click on disabled, hit apply, and OK, and that should disable that from running again. The third method which I don't recommend doing is in the registry editor. So we'll click on the start button once again, type in regedit, and you'll see the registry editor. What we want to do in here is go through HKEY local machine under software and we're going to scroll down to find policies and expand that and Microsoft Windows. You want to look for Windows Update. If that does not exist then you could right click on the Windows folder and go to new key and then just simply type in Windows Update. Once you have the Windows Update one, you want to expand that and see if it has AU. If AU doesn't exist, again, you can just right click on Windows Update and go to create a new key and call it AU. And these are all case sensitive as well, so you want to make sure that it's set up and spelt correctly. Over on the right side of the screen, when you're in the AU folder, you can right click, go to new D word value. And you want to spell this case sensitive, no auto update. Just hit enter and double click to open it and change the value from a zero to a one and hit OK. And that's on the hex decimal. And you may have to reboot for it to accept the value, so I would reboot right away just to make sure that it's accepted that. If you ever want to turn off this feature, you can just go into the same location, right click and delete that key and delete it out of the, or it's not a key. You would just delete that D word out of the registry. If you want to turn the Windows updates back on again, just reverse the procedure that I just showed you here. And if you found this video helpful, please do hit that like button, consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. And remember, it's always safer to keep those updates running than it is to deal with the problems that occasionally may happen as a result of the updates.